It's uh, great to be here today uh, at the Hack 17. Uh, it's unbelievable that we've had 16 before. And what's really evident, if you can see people behind, is the, the great community approach to what's happening here to use data and the uh, insights from data to transform how we deliver projects. And it's also great that we're using Hack to launch the manifesto. It's a draft manifesto so that uh, we can use it to create a discussion and debate. We'll refine it over the next few months and we'll look to publish it at Hack 18 uh, in the spring. And it's based upon six key aspects that we want to get organizations, the professional bodies and institutions and uh, project professionals to think about. And the first one is that all projects are data designed and data enabled. So we think about data from the outset, not something that we do as a part of an information management strategy or a part of our project controls, but we set out with data being you know, central uh, to how we will uh, initiate and then deliver the project and those beneficial outcomes. The second one is that we pool our data. Now, anyone who understands data will know that the, the pooling of data enables much greater insight when we use them collectively rather than individually. And projects have a long cycle time uh, compared to, say, manufacturing or other functions that are more repetitive. And also they're temporary. So where the data goes when the project finishes causes a challenge. But if we pool our data and we use things like data trusts, it means that all projects can benefit out of getting access to past projects data to gain those insights to improve performance. The third one is that there's a lot of reinventing the wheel goes on uh, in projects and in project management. And so what we really want to do is to collaborate to look at open source solutions that we all contribute in a sort of commons way um, so that we all get uh, improvements from each other's uh, activities. So if you think of ISO standards, that's a great way of uh, an example of a collaborative app approach where we standardize on something and everyone benefits from those standards. We need to do the same with solutions uh, around how we tackle some of our grand challenges that we know that the projects community is facing. The fourth one is that we really need to use data and the insights from data to bust myths and uh, inappropriate practices that are really wedded to the past. Uh, and there'll be many aspects of, of project management that would need to be reimagined and reinvented so that we just deliver them differently. So things like risk management, stakeholder engagement are two really good examples of how, how we do things today will be fundamentally different to how we'll do them in just a few years time because the data is enabling us to take a much different approach uh, to dealing with them. The fifth one in the manifesto is around data literacy. We all need to be upskilled and reskilled to think about how we use data in our everyday work on projects. It's not something that we do as, a, as an afterthought. It's not something that's sort of added to the last two hours of project management school. It's all the way through. So data literacy and our data skills is a critical role for all project professionals. Um, and the sixth one is around the role of those professional bodies and institutions. Analytics needs to be codified and incorporated into the bodies of knowledge, the qualifications and the sort of best practice guidance that many project managers and project professionals will follow. So do look out uh, for, we'll publish the, the manifesto, the draft manifesto uh, after it's uh, been uh, launched today at the Hack 17. And then do look out for Hack 18, where we'll be publishing the final version once we've had, you know, in a light of the community here, where we get all that pooling and all that insight coming in to the draft that we've created to have one that's just spot on, absolutely right. So please look out, thank you.